Hi all, we are here at the 7th uh, European Aniridia Conference uh, in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, three days of work to talk about the future of treatments and research on the Aniridia. In this moment we are together with Elizabeth Simpson, who is professor at uh, the British Columbia University in Canada. Thank you for being with us. Uh, it's my pleasure. So, Elizabeth, today with you we want to understand uh, about your research and about the creation of this new model of mice connected to Aniridia. Uh, what does it change on the research and what is the state of the art of your research at the moment? So having a really good mouse model is, an import, is important because typically you have to cure or improve the disease in a mouse model of the disease before you can get permission to do a clinical trial. So in that sense, the mouse model that we've had is good, but this new mouse model will be better. Uh, it has three features that are improved. One is that it's humanized, and that's the most exciting part. It makes the results in the mouse more applicable to humans. Second thing is it has a reporter on it to help the scientists follow exactly the mechanism that's happening when they try a, th a therapy. And last, we've changed the natural course of the disease in the mouse to slow it down and make it more human-like, uh, opening a window for the development of therapies. Under this point of view, so what are the challenges of this research at the moment, but uh, what could be the opportunities also coming from uh, the results uh, and the work uh, on this? So I think the, one of the opportunities is developing new drugs that bind the DNA, and because it's in this mouse, it will bind human DNA. So if the drug works well in the mouse, it has a better chance to work well in humans. Um, and the drug could be something like Adalurin, which was um, successful in mice, but a little less so in humans. Maybe optimizing that kind of drug in this mouse would be easier and more applicable. And looking forward to the future, what will be the next steps of this research uh, or uh, innovation in the genetics research in general, according to you, also starting from this kind of new model of mice? So this mouse was specifically designed to help the development of CRISPR gene editing for Aniridia. So gene therapy has been very um, successful for Leber's congenital amaurosis, but not successful for um, Aniridia yet. With this new mouse, I think the scientists have the tools that they need to push the gene editing approach for therapy for Aniridia. And we hope this, and we hope that the research goes on. And thank you for your spotlight on this and for your for for being with us today. It's my great pleasure. Thank you for your interest. <laughs> yeah.